Welcome to another video in physics. In this video, we're going to be discussing the block resting on the block problem. This one is problem number 60 in your textbook in the chapter assessment. Again, this is another one that you guys had a question on that we didn't get a chance to go over. So I want to take some time to make sure that I do go over this, at least in video form, so you can use this in your studies as you prepare for the test. So. This, the problem states that a 6 kilogram block rests on a 7 kilogram block which rests on a horizontal table. Now the first question that is being asked of us is part A. It's saying what is the force, the magnitude and direction exerted by the 7 kilogram block on the 6 kilogram block? Now this kind of seems counterintuitive because it's asking the force of the bottom block instead of the force that's being applied from the top. It's asking what's the force being applied from the bottom. Well, it's kind of one of those questions that um, that we discussed in lecture where you, when you're uh, for every for every action there's an opposite and equal reaction, right? So in order to find how much force the bottom block is applying to the top block we actually need to find how much force is being applied from the top to the bottom because the the bottom block is going to match whatever force is being applied to it from the top okay it's kind of like when uh, uh, the, the textbook the the uh, the idea in the textbook where it mentions we're sitting on earth we are applying a pressure on earth but the earth is also applying an equal pressure on us or when you lean against a wall when you're leaning against the wall you are you're putting your weight on the wall you are applying a pressure on the wall, but conversely, the wall is also applying a pressure back to you that is equal to that of what you're pressing on it. Okay, so we want to find force, right? We want to find the net force. What is the force, the magnitude and direction that the bottom block is applying to the top? And again, we need to find out how much force the top is applying to the bottom. So we it's mass equals, I'm sorry, force equals mass times acceleration. So our mass is 6 kilograms for the top box, and then our force is 9.8 meters per second squared because that's the force of gravity. That's the pull that Earth has on all objects. And we come to 58.8 newtons. So since 58.8 newtons are being applied downward, that means that there's an upward force of 58.8 newtons from, our, from the 7 kilogram uh, box. So as you can see here, um, I have a negative 58.8 newtons. Uh, and the reason why I have negative 58.8 is because the force that's being applied in an upward direction is opposite to that of the force being applied in a downward direction. So it's all just a point of reference. Since my question is asking what's the force going up, then I am using the negative sign to show that it's an opposite of it going down. Okay. So it could go either way too. Again, it's all about point of reference and, and where your, your reference point is in this problem. So B, what is the force, magnitude, and direction exerted by the six kilogram box on the seven kilogram box? Okay, and again, I'm using the same math because uh, it's, it's essentially the same thing, isn't it? I mean, in order to find out how much force was being pushed up, I needed to find out down, and it's the same math, and it's 58.8. Newtons, yes, 58.8 newtons, positive. Okay, so in summary, um, since I know that there's a downward force of 58.8 newtons, that's my magnitude and my direction is down, okay, then I know that there's an equal, opposite and equal force of 58.8 newtons upward. So the blue box is exerting a 58.8 newton force down, and so the bottom box is matching that that uh, force upward. Regardless of the regardless of the fact that they have a, a different mass, that that doesn't really matter in this case. Okay, uh, that doesn't really come into play. Now, where it would come into play is if we were asking how much force is being applied down on the table, or even the box's table onto the floor. But that's not what the problem asked. It's asking the reference points are are the boxes themselves. So, uh, I hope this helped, and uh, thanks for watching, and good luck in your studying.